I will. Uh, and sorry about this is Esperanto, but you. Uh, <laughs> probably don't I will speak about how this uh, idea was uh, yeah. created or came about, how it's financed. I will speak about uh, who were the people who helped me to do it. I will speak about different problems which happened during the project and how uh, the films were received and uh, uh, with the jury, uh, how we, we decided uh, which movie will uh, win. Then about the uh, Ceremony when we handed out the uh, prizes in uh, Berlin during Berlinale Festival. How uh, the different entries were uh, distributed by the internet and by DVD, and everyone yes. of you please feel free to take one of the DVDs. And uh, then uh, about the film festivals which were created, because originally it was just a short film competition, but now it's a series of film festivals. And uh, the future plans I have. Um, if we still have time, maybe not, uh, you can ask me some questions. Uh, preferably questions uh, then maybe uh, while we have our dinner, or have, have, our, have our lunch. So, uh, first I will speak a little bit about how this idea was created. And as you know, I am uh, very frequently in Australia. Mm -hmm. And in Australia, there is the largest short film competition in the world taking place. It's called the Chopfest. So every year, it's about uh, 80,000 people, and we can see the different venues all over Australia. The biggest one is in Sydney, but in all major cities of Australia, it's broadcasted simultaneously by a satellite, and when people can actually see uh, these movies. The Chopfest uh, has in total a uh, prize money of 100,000 Australian dollars, and they receive about 800 movies. Out of these 800 movies, on that evening, only 16 movies were shown. So this is uh, what you can do if you do it really big. Now, uh, for uh, us as Peranto speakers, we have to uh, do it in a little bit uh, smaller dimensions. So uh, basically, the thing is, uh, Esperanto uh, was founded 1887. So uh, in uh, 2013, uh, it... Uh, uh, 2013, uh, 12, 2012, it became uh, 125 years. So, and every organization uh, tried to celebrate it in their own way. And since I'm a board member of the uh, German Esperanto Association, we also wanted to celebrate the 125 years of Esperanto. But how? So, I had the idea about this uh, short film festival. and. Uh, uh, everyone thought this is a great way to, to celebrate and uh, so basically first I had to get my finances for it. And uh, to impress people uh, it's good to have good money and uh, many of the movie makers actually contributed because they knew that there is a good prize money to be won. So when I compared to other film festivals, 5,000 euros is actually quite a decent number. It's not 100,000 euros like Tropfest, yeah, but that's the biggest in the world. Uh, but a lot of uh, the film festivals which are done in Germany, Austria or Switzerland are in the range uh, yeah, around 5,000, maybe uh, up to 10,000 euro, but it, it's in that range. So I actually could convince my association to give us money. Uh, and the board members, uh, not only the board members agreed to it, but uh, also we actually presented the project during an uh, annual assembly and the members also supported it. And then, uh, well, it's, it's my idea, my project, but I needed to uh, have people who were actually uh, helping to do it all. So uh, luckily I found Max Hülle, who is a, a filmmaker, film student, uh, who was willing to uh, help us uh, basically in the technical things to collect the movies and uh, then uh, we could offer it and uh, we actually uh, did advertisement at different places all over the world. A lot of Esperanto associations all over the world were really enthusiastic uh, to, uh, about this news that uh, the Germans actually do something uh, really fantastic. So uh, the Brazilian Esperanto speakers, for example, uh, did uh, huge, huge contributions, uh, a lot of advertisement, but also uh, the Chinese Esperanto speakers helped me, helped me a lot in, in, in presenting it and uh, we have a big uh, Esperanto radio station so I did several interviews and produced their server actually to, to promote it. 
So, um, but yeah, there are, there are some problems in the project, like normal. And I must admit, I'm not a professional organizer of film competitions. It's my first time, so I had some learnings. If I would do it a second time, I uh, would do it much better, but luckily I could overcome all the problems. One issue is if you do it in a, in a born association, uh, there are many uh, people who want to be involved, uh, like many cooks uh, which uh, spoil the meal, uh, you know this. So uh, that actually made it pretty difficult, so on each little detail on uh, the rules of uh, how to contribute, everyone wanted to discuss. And uh, finally I, I told the board, uh, either they give me permission to do most of it on my own, only have them involved in major decisions, or they have to uh, look for someone else to do it. And, it was convincing enough, so actually I could pretty freely <coughs> decide uh, how to do it uh, on, on a more detailed level. Uh, the other problem was, originally we were targeting the uh, film academies in Germany. But for strange reasons, which I still don't understand, there were practically no contributions from Germany. So, uh, 5,000, yeah, like Ludwigsburg, yeah, 5,000 euro waiting to be handed out and no one actually took notice of it. That's, it's quite uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, besides, uh, well, instead of trying to find out what it is, I thought I have to do it in the way I know. And I'm not uh, someone who has a background in uh, filmmaking. I'm rather someone who has a background in Esperanto. So I actually switched the whole thing, saying instead of having a film competition, which is based on German, Germany, German filmmakers, I open it to the whole world. And so we did a lot of advertisement. For example, uh, the rules, uh, the conditions, were translated into seven different languages. So uh, not only uh, Esperanto and German and English, we got a Spanish translation, uh, a Portuguese uh, translation, Chinese translation, and not only a correct translation, also a Serb translation as well. So, so basically, uh, when we uh, looked at it, we got uh, in total uh, 56 entries. And these 56 entries came from uh, different countries. And uh, on the DVD which you have, I don't show you the 56, but the 34, which are a little bit more versatile. So, so here you can see a little bit uh, where it comes from. It is from uh, Ukraine, Germany, Slovak Republic. China, Brazil, Russia, Poland, Spain, Switzerland, uh, Zaire, Italy, uh, Bulgaria, uh, Benin, um, yeah, Spain, many contributions, uh, Finland. So, uh, and you will have all these uh, different ones on, on the. How much time video. did you give them for the projection? So, so basically, uh, the conditions were uh, the movie has to be in Esperanto or about Esperanto. Uh, in total, actually, it came uh, in seven different languages. So uh, I got one movie which is completely in Russian, or uh, a movie uh, completely uh, uh, German, uh, German English, and so on. Uh, but yeah, about two thirds of the movie came in uh, in uh, German. But yeah, this is a condition up to five minutes and uh, it's more about Esperanto. So, uh, so yeah, finally I was uh, pretty successful in uh, getting uh, all the contributions from the different countries and uh, when we uh, received uh, the, uh, the films we had to technically convert it uh, because everyone was delivering it in the technical format uh, which he or she wanted to contribute it. So, and then we had a team of judges and in total I got uh, seven judges, uh, which uh, partially consisted of a board members of a German Esperanto Association because they paid the money. And I created a judging system so everyone had to watch all the 56 movies, giving points and then we calculated uh, which movies get most points and uh, to give out uh, the prizes. It's quite interesting but the taste about different movies is quite different, so everyone has a different flavor uh, what is uh, good or what is not good, so it's, it's pretty important to have different judges to actually get different opinions and there were some movies I found 
That's a fantastic and outstanding, but no one liked them. <laughs> <laughs> and other movies uh, which I didn't like, but uh, other people uh, really, really appreciated. So it's, it's really good to have all these different inputs from the different uh, churches together. So, and so basically we had a winner, and uh, then what we uh, wanted to do is, of course, not just give out the money and that's it. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, publicity, of course, doing this competition, but what's the next step? We are basically making most advantage of the fact that these movies are there. So, we actually did a, a prize ceremony in Berlin. Uh, and every, uh, every second year, I think, there's a big Berlinale film festival, maybe you've heard about it. And uh, we did the prize ceremony in Berlin during the time of Berlinale. It's not part of a Berlinale, but at the same time. So the movie journalists were already in Berlin and we could invite them and, and they could invite uh, the winners uh, of the movies. Uh, and so uh, basically, uh, she, uh, this couple got the second prize share, is that couple here? Uh, he actually uh, did the movie for, for this. Unfortunately, the first prize, a uh, movie from Ukraine, uh, the winner couldn't come, also it's a question of travel cost. She's coming from Slovak Republic and they are coming from, from Germany. That's the president of German Esperanto Association, by the way. So, we actually had a, a, a great event. And uh, now the question then is, uh, what next? Is it, is it that? Now uh, I'm continuing to make most of it because it's so much work in producing these 56 movies and uh, we have to honor it somehow. Not just by the money, if you calculate how much money, uh, 5,000 euro divided by 56, that's less than 100 euro per movie. So uh, we also have to honor it uh, in different ways uh, to, uh, to see this richness. So besides this uh, pricing ceremony where we also showed the best entries, uh, we also uh, created a, a website uh, on YouTube to actually uh, send out uh, movies and by now there are more than uh, 20,000 views on YouTube so more than 20,000 people <coughs> watched uh, a movie uh, on uh, YouTube and in total they came from 123 different countries so this is a really it's international really film festival yeah and uh, what's even more amazing, even though it's a, a German project and uh, I did most uh, advertisement in Germany, this is a listing on uh, which countries had, had how many views. Uh, Germany had uh, 2,700 views, which is only, only or is however, 13% of all views. But there's many other different countries, and Brazil actually had uh, 3,200 views. So Brazil actually had more viewers than uh, Germany, this is quite, quite amazing. Uh, United States, 1,500 uh, views, Spain, uh, 1,200, Poland, 1,200 as well, and France, uh, just slightly below. Uh, so, um, but we even got views from uh, very far off countries, like we have viewers from t uh, Tanzania, Dominican Republic, Reunion, Yemen, Burundi, Sri Lanka, Kyrgyzstan, Sudan, New Caledonia, Senegal, uh, Palestine, Burkina Faso, Iran, Mali, Cap Verde, uh, Monaco, uh, Macau, Macau uh, Botswana, uh, and Ghana, for example. So this is a, a really uh, international uh, result. And uh, so this basically ensures that these uh, movies uh, are seen and that's the result so far. So it's about, this is a screenshot I did uh, from YouTube about uh, one month ago, so uh, this number is, is continuously increasing. Uh, so this is one way of uh, distributing it. Another way of distributing it is having this DVD. And uh, for those of you who don't have one yet, so... Uh, these two yeah. uh, gentlemen. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. Please help yourself. Uh, so, yeah, uh, basically with this DVD... Three. That's one of them. Uh, yeah. Anyone will use it? So, uh, this DVD again uh, was produced uh, with Esperanto money. It's not sold, it's actually given away for free. Okay. And in total, there are 5,000 of these DVDs. And now I'm trying to distribute it uh, evenly across this planet. <laughs> so, for example, uh, 
One month ago I was traveling in Esperanto circles in uh, France and I met uh, an Esperanto speaker from um, from Cuba. Uh, sorry, one of the board members of the Cuban Association and he was really uh, interested in it. And I gave him one and I said, yeah, you, can, you can have two or three. Uh, and he said, yeah, actually, if I could have ten, <laughs> then I could give one to each of the ten provinces of Cuba because we all have our own Esperanto Association. So yeah, this way uh, it, it's, it's spreading quite well and uh, these DVDs they are finished uh, end of December and by now uh, from the 5,000, 3,000 are already distributed. So uh, maybe the price is about to increase as soon as uh, I'm running out of it. So we have a <laughs> maybe it can serve as a good type of collector's item. Uh, but many people ask me why DVD because you already have it on YouTube so people don't watch movies anymore on uh, television we watch it on computers so they can do it on YouTube as well but a DVD is really haptic you have it in your hand and you put it on the table and it's rare it doesn't go away and you see it every day and one day you see it I finally have to watch it yeah. so if you uh, link on the internet uh, it's, it's, it's great and, and you don't ever do it but a DVD uh, you can't resist. So I'm very sorry that you took it, now you have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one way uh, how I, I try to make best out of, of the results of his film competitions. Another uh, way is to do so-called film festivals. And uh, so far I did four film festivals, which is basically if there is a uh, meeting where people are, I, I try to get them uh, uh, to watch the movies, of course. In a group it's more fun, it's like uh, watching a movie in the cinema is often more fun than doing it on loan. But uh, this format of a film festival is uh, even, even more interactive. Uh, because the people do not only watch the movies, they have a task. They have a serious task. They have to give out a price. It's the price of the audience. So uh, it's, it's a serious work which people have to do. Uh, even though uh, here this is a film festival that I did in January in, uh, in Canberra, in the Australian capital. Here yeah, it's quite cozy uh, places, but uh, we have a serious work actually, uh, because we only could give out uh, prizes to three winners. But yeah, we have uh, 56 entries. So, uh, and there are so many good movies, uh, and a couple of people were disappointed. They thought their movie is the best. And it turned out uh, they didn't get a prize, but now in this film festivals we still have a chance to win the prize of the audience. So um, at, uh, at that uh, film festival in, in Canberra, uh, the prize actually went to a, a movie from China. And interestingly, two months later, I went to China in Beijing to uh, do a film festival in Beijing and I could arrange with the winner of that film festival uh, in Canberra actually uh, could come and uh, give his speech. So I give you show you some pictures first. This is now this uh, uh, testimony that someone won. This is the president of the Australian Esperanto Association. So this is uh, yeah, the prize. Yeah. So uh, Ding Xiaofeng uh, from uh, China won that prize and then we did this uh, same the same fi uh, film festival uh, si same format in uh, Beijing uh, and the thing is you can only vote for uh, movies which have not won yet because that's why it's, uh, it's like the first winner with a movie from Ukraine is, is so good uh, maybe that movie would uh, very often win uh, which well, would not help much to the other filmmakers, so the condition is they can only vote for films which have not uh, won yet. And uh, in uh, Beijing, actually, a film uh, from uh, Brazil was, uh, was winning. And uh, one of the participants from uh, the Esperanto Association in Brazil, actually, uh, from China, was actually traveling to uh, Brazil because there is a big... Uh, uh, 
event taking place actually next week. So he will personally hand out the prize, the prize money, which is donated by the Chinese Esperanto Association. He will uh, give out that prize in person. So that's a uh, film festival in, uh, in Beijing. Then, uh, so yeah, ceremony again uh, is the testimony. And uh, then the next film festival uh, took place in, uh, in southern France, in Provence. So each setting is a little bit different. And that's a uh, meeting of uh, the French Esperanto youth. And uh, it's in Mont Ventoux, -Mont which is the highest mountain mm -hmm. of a province. So, uh, so we are now in the area of Amiens. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it, so that event took place here. And uh, on the next picture you can see a little bit how the atmosphere of a film festival is uh, there. The advantage of uh, having a, a venue just in the mountains is that people have more time uh, to, uh, to work more concentrated on, uh, on electing the best films. So, uh, yeah. So basically, these are the films which are already uh, won. These are the three ones which are, were winning, uh, getting the prize of the uh, judges. And these are the different film festivals from Canberra, which is a Chinese movie. Then. Uh, in uh, Beijing, uh, a movie from Brazil uh, won. In uh, Mont in France, uh, a Russian uh, movie won. And uh, just uh, two weeks ago, we had another film festival uh, in Erfurt. Uh, with about uh, 150 participants. I don't have pictures yet from there. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, there, another movie from, from Brazil was winning. Uh, interestingly, because the Brazilian Esperantists uh, did so much uh, work in promoting it. Uh, a lot of uh, entries actually came came from Brazil. So that's uh, basically uh, how this project is is happening, and uh, where uh, a future film festival is planned in the city of Herzberg im Harz. And this is actually a little bit a different format because this is not a Esperanto meeting. This is actually a city festival for all the, the citizens of the city of Herzberg am Harz. And so uh, it will be uh, uh, open air and uh, then the audience uh, will see it and for this we will actually create uh, German language subtitles for all the movies which we will screen. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is uh, basically uh, the, plan the next plans uh, and another idea is actually to produce subtitles. And uh, subtitles would look like this. This is for, uh, technically, now it's getting very technical. Uh, this is a movie, uh, which in this case actually was originally done in German language. And then uh, it will be translated into the different uh, uh, languages. And in total, my plan is to have actually 10 languages per movie subtitled and then we can put it on, uh, on the different distribution channels like uh, video sites like uh, YouTube and Vimeo and so on and in this case instead of 34 movies we actually have 10 times so 340 movies and the more movies <coughs> we have uh, the more views we're having and this way actually uh, get most uh, result of the big work the film producers did on this project. So uh, that's uh, all I wanted to uh, say about this project in brief. Uh, if you want, I can show you some of the uh, entries which I, I got here as well. Uh, but also, I'm open for your question now. I pretty quickly and very condensed. I uh, spoke about this project which kept me busy in the last uh, two years. So uh, I'm happy uh, to hear your questions. I think it's interesting to see.